All right, guys, check it out. If you are watching this, then I actually recorded this part a long time ago, guys. I got something in today that I cannot show you guys yet, so I'm gonna record it now and put it out later when I'm allowed to show you guys, but I want to use these things. I wanna try them out. So I'm gonna go ahead and record the unboxing now so you guys can see my actual reaction instead of faking it in a few months when they actually come out. But today, guys, we have a brand new shaver from Babyliss Pro. It is called the UV Foil. We're gonna look into it, of course, but I'm assuming that the lid is basically a UV sanitizer for the top of the shaver. But let's not waste any time, guys. Let's throw them on the stage and check these things out. All right guys, so you can see we have two here. One is a single foil and one is a double foil. So just to save you guys time, I'm only gonna unbox the double foil. I'd imagine guys, they will be pretty much the same. We're gonna unbox the double. That's the main one that I would use. The single one is similar in size. You guys can see just a little bit smaller. I'm definitely more so gonna use the double foil. So we're gonna set this to the side. I will check it out. But today we're gonna focus on this double foil shaver. So you guys can see Babyliss Pro UV foil kills 99% of bacteria. UV disinfecting metal double foil shaver. On the side, we have a picture of it and Babyliss Pro UV foil. On this side, guys, metal housing, USB-C charging port, that's different. Hypoallergenic double foils, UV cycle over five and a half hours of runtime. That might be the longest runtime that I've seen so far. 10,000 RPM high-speed motor, cord cordless. Obviously, guys, you can use it with the cord plugged in or cordless, and you do have a two-year warranty. Now, I'll go ahead and read the back again, Babyliss UV foil. New UV disinfecting lid, patent pending, kills 99% of bacteria, UV light indicator, auto shut off. Offset double foil system, hypoallergenic black titanium foil. That is kind of tight. I haven't seen that yet. Dual counter cutting blades. Don't really know what that means, but we'll check it out. New 10,000 RPM high speed motor, new high capacity lithium ion battery with over five and a half hours of runtime, new sleek metal housing with ergonomic grip, new standard and USB-C charging ports. So we'll see standard, I guess, is the Babyliss charger and USB-C obviously is USB-C, and a storage pouch included. So that is in the box, guys. Let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what it's all about. All right, so we kind of have a two-part thing here. Here's our charging cord. We have a USB-C, USB cord, and our standard Babyliss cord. Guys, I am piling them things up. We got a Babyliss sticker, the travel bag, and the instruction manual, and here is our shaver. Let's get this stuff out of the way. Man, that's heavy duty. I can feel it. Man, guys, this thing feels good. All right, so the first thing I noticed, guys, we have a little thumb grip right here in the front you can see for when you're using the shaver. If you flip it, there's a little indention. I don't know if you guys can see it. Man, I already made this thing dingy with my fingerprints. Indention here for when you're using the double foil and you have the indention on the front when you're using a single edge. You don't really tip down and do both foils, so most of the time you'll be using the single foil maybe to tap a line out or something. You guys can put your thumb here, and then on the back we have it as well. So that is sweet. Other than that, guys, it is the same idea as the regular FX shaver. So we have our power switch on this side. We can click this and take the cover off. You guys see the cutting blades underneath. You can see at the bottom, guys, we have the charging port. We also have the USB-C, which is cool. Probably just stick with the regular charging port since I already have so many of those cords, but the USB-C is nice. And you guys can see this is the lid here. So when we put it on, you can see it glowing. I wish we could see the inside, but apparently it is doing some UV light down on the blades to make sure that it is clean and disinfected. It's going to sanitize all of the shaver foils that are underneath here. So I would imagine just like the supersonic box that this light will go off after it's been long enough to sanitize and basically tell you that it's been long enough and it's good to go. Let's go ahead and listen to this thing and see what it sounds like. So pretty standard sound for the Babyliss shaver. Sounds pretty much like my custom effects that I have, but you guys can see nice and sleek, kind of almost like a black chrome. I don't know if you guys can tell. It is pretty dark and shiny though. So we're gonna go ahead and charge this thing up, guys. I'm gonna test it out on a couple haircuts. We'll do, you know, our whole bald area with it. I may trim my beard and test it out underneath my neck. And then I'll let you guys know in the end what I think about the UV foil from Babyliss. And real quick, I wanna show you guys something that I just learned recently. If you guys are running your shaver, you put the lid on, it turns it off. I didn't even know that. I don't really keep my lid out. I usually keep it in the drawer. But that's a cool little fact if you guys didn't know that about Babyliss shavers. All right, guys, I did open up the single foil, too. I wanted to just show you guys real quick exactly the same idea. We just have the single foil on top. So pretty cool. You guys know I use my TPOB or Gamma single foil, so this is still a little bit bigger than that. I probably won't use it much for the single foil. But anyway, guys, that is it for both shavers. Let's go ahead and charge them up, and we'll test them out on a couple haircuts. All right, guys, we're going to test out this new UV shaver. I've used it a little bit because I was not allowed to show you guys. And let me tell you guys, I was just telling Philip. I don't know if it's so good because my 
why shaver head is old. It's not even that old, but this is obviously brand new. But this thing eats. If you guys do like the heavy metal of the Babyliss shaver, this, this is obviously the same heavy metal, if not heavier, and it is in a smaller body. We do have the single foil as well. I may test it out on something else, but for now we're gonna use the double. Got this ball fade to go ahead and ball it out. I use my slim line instead of using the sharp trimmer just to see how well it would cut down all this kind of thicker stubble. And you guys can see, I mean, it's cutting through this no problem. You know, I like to do it, come up here, kind of set a bald line with my shaver. Then we'll flip it, use the single foil, and take the line out. And you guys see these things are a beast, man. The, the UV cap is pretty cool. I tried to look kind of messing with it. You can't see, once you put the lid on, obviously you can't see inside, but the UV light in there cleaning it afterward is pretty cool. Outside of that, guys, the metal heavy body this thing is just a beast. You can see it just bottled it out, no problem. Chops through this super easy, super powerful. I don't know the price on these yet. I'm gonna have to look. I will try to add it at the end of the video. But definitely the double foil, if you guys are digging the look of it and the UV part of it, definitely a nice pickup. Similar to the FX02, like my custom shaver that I have, a little bit smaller. And of course you have that UV light in there to clean it, but uh, definitely a strong shaver. You guys see, we just balled it fill about no problem. Super bald, nice and easy. And it is a good looking shaver. Boom, there it is. All right, so we're all done, guys. We can throw the cap on. You see the blue light comes on. That means the UV is cleaning and sanitizing the top of the shaver. I guess not cleaning, but sanitizing. Throw in the drawer, let it finish. And be ready for our next punt. All right, guys, so B is gonna test out. I don't think I have any bald heads, so she's gonna test it out on a full head. Look how close that is. Move that thing real quick. Yeah, I was talking about, I don't know if it's that strong because it's brand new and my heads on my shaver are, you know, a little bit used, but it is, it is cutting. This is definitely the best shaver I've ever used. Oh! That's pretty good feedback. Best shaver you ever used. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and there's a single foil as well, so you can do like uh, detail work with it. Same idea, it's just a single instead of the double. What do you think about the UV lid? I really like it. On shavers, you know, you talk about hypoallergenic foils and yeah. like different things to stop people from bumping up. So that's just adding one more thing to it to, you know, try to stop people from getting bumps and irritation. Especially because, I don't know, they're so close. You're asking for it. Yeah. Yeah, so you need like as many... <laughs> Many things to help, I guess, as you can. So Look I at that. I mean, you just, you just mowed through that. Oh, that's, for uh, sure. Yeah, that thing is, it's eating. All right, guys, so that is it for my review on the Babyliss UV foil shavers. First off, we'll talk about the double foil, guys. Absolutely beast. This thing is super powerful. Probably better than any shaver that I've ever used, guys. Like I said, I don't know if it's just that much better because it's brand new, but it is an absolute beast. So heavy duty, you guys know I like the heavy shavers. Absolutely mowed through hair. And then when we add the UV cap on top, it's just another level of protection for your clients. So if you guys are somebody that feels like you deal with hair bumps on some of your clients when you use the shaver, this may help with the sanitation purposes. And just to keep the shaver, safer for people with sensitive skin. Now the single foil guys, same exact thing, but in a single foil, you guys can see much smaller at the top. Now this is still a little bit bigger than my single foil shaver that I was using. So I'm not really sure how I'm gonna use this. If I'm gonna use it for detail, it is a little bit bigger. And this thing is so powerful. If you are trying to go kind of next to a C cup or something, it will actually kind of cut some of that hair. So I may not use it as much like my other single foils, but for smaller areas, maybe a burst fade or just cleaning up the shaver area in a taper, this would be perfect. Now guys, my one negative about either shaver guys is the finish. So I think the finish looks super sharp, but if you guys can see, just grab it for a second and we will get some nice, ugly fingerprints. So guys, obviously the fingerprints don't affect the performance, but it does look super nice until you get fingerprints all over it. And that is just one complaint that I have. I like the finish, but if it's gonna smudge up and look terrible, I'd rather it be maybe a matte finish or just a standard color like some of the other foil FXs. But yeah, guys, these are the UV foils that should be coming out soon. And if you guys want to check them out, head to babelesspro.com. At this point, when I'm recording this, guys, they're not out yet, so I can't see the exact price. I did find them on a couple of barber supply websites. The double foil is 169 and the single foil is 
is 149. So you guys can expect them around that price. But if you guys want to check them out at babylesspro.com, my discount code would save you 15 or 20 bucks on either or 30 bucks on the bundle. But that's it for the video, guys. Do me a favor and smash that thumbs up if you like this video on the UV foils from Babyliss. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about these things. Make sure you guys subscribe to have another box from Babyliss that I'm about to get open and I'm super excited about it. As always, guys, I appreciate you guys checking out my reviews and I'll catch you next time.